Yeah, so intolerance is really, I guess, um, the best way to think about it is that the immune system is, is recognizing something as foreign, but it's not recognizing it in an allergic way. It's not recognizing it. In, there, there are different ways that our immune systems react. We have different, um, they're called immunoglobulins, and they're antibodies that um, you can have antibodies that are, are IgE, that's allergy, but you can have IgG or IgM or IgA, and those different antibodies can be produced by the immune system in, 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 in a way fighting what it's, what it's seeing as foreign. So I think the, the key part about this intolerance piece is really that um, the body is starting to detect everything as bad, right? So what, what we've, as humans, um, if, you, if, you, if we go back 10,000 years, 20,000 years, right, we um, had, had, um, didn't have a lot of things that we were exposed to that, uh, so our immune system probably was uh, different, right? We yeah. um, could eat things, you know, we, we had maybe limited amount of types of foods we were eating, right? We didn't have toxins in the air. And so our immune system is designed to kind of deal with, but something big like a infection or something we were, you know, our immune system was ready to go for it. The problem now is really that we, we have so many things that our immune system is reading in the environment constantly. Uh, both what we're breathing in, eating, um, stressors, EMFs or phones, everything, right? Yeah. So I think that that at some point the immune system just gets you know overactivated and starts to recognize everything as foreign uh, and bad for it um, and yeah. fights. Um, you know, it, to me, intolerance is still on the spectrum of mass cell activation syndrome, though I have to say, because again, my my lens. I can't, I can't unsee what I see. Yeah. So I would say that the vast majority of patients who start out with these intolerances wind up with some form of mast cell activation syndrome. And mast cell activation syndrome really is a, is a spectrum. So there are people who have really, you know, uh, um, one end of the spectrum, more significant disease and the other end of the spectrum, milder, 